Hey, my name is Petra and I'm from Hungary. In this video I would like to talk about Hungary's biggest celebration throughout the whole year about August the 20th, also known as St. Stephen's Day or the Foundation Day of Hungary. So follow me along because I'm about to show you everything you can experience and visit around this time in Budapest. So if you weren't here in this year or the previous ones, you can prepare yourself for the next one because the programs and the whole celebration is kind of the same each year with little changes. So let's jump right into it. First of all, a few sentences about the history of this day. I won't go into details because there are many great videos out there about this topic, but St. Stephen was the first king of Hungary who also conversed the Hungarian nation from paganism to Christianity. In 1000 AD, St. Stephen received a crown from the Pope Sylvester II and he started to consolidate the new state's Hungary's power. Our first king died on August the 15th in 138 and he was made a Catholic saint on August the 20th and that's actually where the date comes from. Luckily it is not only a one-day celebration, around this day we also celebrate our cultural diversity and our historical heritage as well. So the first thing you should visit when you come to Budapest is the Festival of Folk Arts, which takes place in the Buda Castle mainly. By the way, it's free! Of different things to enjoy and experience in this festival. There are different stage programs where you can get to know the Hungarian folk music and folk dances. You can also participate in workshops, try out different historical crafts. You can also just stroll around the whole festival area and I don't know, just enjoy this whole vibe of it and you can also buy some very special gifts and souvenirs to your family and friends along these stands. What's more, you don't only get to know Hungary's folk art, but every year we also invite other nations to present their traditions and folk crafts and stuff like that. So for example, in this year our guests were Turkey and the Republic of Korea. I think this makes this festival more special. 
You can also try out the different Hungarian food, the whole street beneath the Buda castle becomes a food festival around this time. The whole atmosphere of this festival is so lovely so definitely give it a go. And also I will leave a link about this festival in the description down below so check it out. Although these programs that I mentioned before take place mainly in the Buda castle area, you can also find so many correlated programs in the whole Budapest actually. Actually I think almost every district make at least a few programs around this day, so you can bump into something everywhere. For example we checked out the city park and there was a military show or exhibition, I don't know how that's called, and also some other programs for kids, but it was still a great program and we enjoyed it. Another great thing to try out is the cake of the country. This cake is the winner of the annual competition held by the National Association of Confectioners where the best and most innovative cake wins. There are two categories, one is the normal sugary cake and one sugar-free version. People can taste it for the first time around August the 20th, so it's always go hand in hand with St. Stephen's Day. We also tried out this year's winner. The first one, the normal sugary one, was the Mac Virag from almond flour poppy seed sponge and with white chocolate cream, which was 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. And the sugar-free version was the Zöldmana, in English green raspberry, with pistachio and raspberry jelly. And that was also really special, but I'm not a huge fan of pistachio, so I would give it like 7.5 out of 10, but it was still really tasty and I really recommend you to try it out as well. These cakes are available in the bigger confectionaries around Hungary for at least a year. If the cakes become very popular then they will be available later on as well. Because these cakes are made of very high quality ingredients, the price of it ranges from 1,700 forints to 2,000 forints in average. So they are not very cheap, but they are really made of high quality ingredients. So it's definitely worth it. I will also leave a link about these cakes and about the competition in the description down below. So check it out. And now let's see what happens exactly on St. Stephen's Day. The day of the 20th of August starts with the rays of the Hungarian flag in front of the parliament at the Kossuth Square and on this day you can visit the parliament for free and you can see the holy crown as well but be aware that the queue to the parliament is always massive so you will have to wait a pretty long time that's one thing that never changes like that queue is like there's also an air show in the morning above the Danube which can be also really interesting. You can also participate at the Mass, in the St. Stephen's Basilica and in the afternoon another very important thing happens, the blessing of the new bread at St. Adam Shack Square in the Buddha Castle. At the end of the day comes the biggest attraction, the fireworks. Actually not only fireworks but lasers and drones and they are always wrapped around the story of this day so the foundation of Hungary and around St. Stephen's life it's an incredible experience and what's more the whole show was five kilometers long on the Danube which is insane
after the show we started to walk to find a bus so we can get back home and we bumped into the coolest thing ever the main streets of budapest were empty from cars and everyone was walking on the streets and that the vibe of it some people were singing or i don't know they just enjoyed the whole atmosphere i don't know it was the highlight of the day actually so that was all i wanted to say about st stephen's day and about the festival itself i hope you will experience these events in the next year if you haven't already because i'm sure this would make a trip to hungary or to budapest even more special subscribe for more content like this and see you in the next one bye